My name is The Adipose and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can get your own channel icon um, for your YouTube channel. Well greetings everyone and welcome back to my series of YouTube tutorials. In the previous video I told you all about this YouTube banner which is this larger object here but now I want to talk to you about this little icon um, right here. Now this is an important icon because it's used all over YouTube. Your banner only really appears if people visit your channel but this one is going to be seen all over the place so in some ways this one's actually more important than um, but than the big one. Now how do you edit it first of all? Um, you can see there's a little pencil here. Um, if you go to you, go to your channel homepage um, and you click on the little pencil over the icon and um, you'll get a little um, thing like this let's say do you wish to edit your channel icon and if you're connected with Google Plus then you'll need to edit it on Google Plus and if you're not then it'll just give you a, a simple way of uploading it there but if I click um, edit it on Google Plus then this then pops up and it's asking me to select a photo from my computer drag it in there and then what you want to do is to set this as your profile photo and then it might take a little bit of a while but then it will eventually up that will then update back to YouTube as well so that's how you change it but how do you actually um, kind of create one and what should you do well the thing is about your channel icon is that most of the time it's actually going to appear really small when it's when it's on your channel like this it's pretty big people are going to find it fairly very fairly easy to see um, but look at this if it was a if it was in this featured channels list over here it would be the same size as these tiny little icons here if I'll show you if I go over to this channel here um, you can see he's actually featured me back and look how small my icon is when it appears on that channel so whatever you're going to do for this icon it has to be very simple very straightforward and work in all sizes it, it's also the same icon that's used when you respond to um, when you respond to uh, uh, messages as well, if you see here, you know, some some oops, um, some nice people have responded to my uh, to my to my to my video. I've responded back, and look, here is the icon again in quite small. Now it also can appear actually on your um, actually on your videos as well. If you, I'll show you this option in a future video, but you can choose to actually have your icon appear um, during um, videos. In fact, there, there's mine right now. I've got a transparency thing on it, but my icon is always visible. So. So the point is here, this icon is going to be used a lot, it needs to look good, it needs to be work um, when it is really small. Now what you need to do is, again, is like I said in the previous video, is to find yourself a photo editing program that has layers, it will make your life so much easier. Um, Photoshop is brilliant, um, but if you want a free alternative, you can use what I'm using here, which is Paint. Dot net and uh, what YouTube recommends when you're doing this um, we can find a channel icon they recommend that you make an image that is 800 by 800 pixels not 800 inches not 800 centimeters 800 pixels so what we're going to do is we're going to file new and when you do file new in these programs it will normally ask you then what size you want make sure it's set to pixels and then I'm going to put 800 by 800 and you can see I should have a nice big square. That is going to be my logo. But remember, it's going to be really small. So whatever I'm going to put in here needs to fill um, most of this space. So maybe I could just do something like um, one really, really big letter right, right in the middle. In fact, maybe even make it even bigger than that so it kind of fills. Um, this kind of whole area that would work um, as a logo maybe I could do a word um, and then turn it sideways um, across that um, kind of diagonal thing there but again don't put too many letters it'll look weird or how about a simple character that you've kind of cut out um, for example if I open up my um, little collection of adiposes let's bring them across and I'm um, going to open up this separate image, so I've now got two images open. Let's say I wanted to change mine to this uh, grumpy adipose over here. If I was having a bad day, I can just select that. And then I'm going to paste that back into this image. But remember what I said about having layers in the previous tutorial? I'm going to add a new layer first. So I'm going to put my character on layer two, but not on the background. I'm going to paste him in, and there he is. And then I'm going to use the resize tools here to make him fill as much of this as possible because I want this to be very, very easily visible. So I'm going to put him there, and I'm going to move him around here. I'm going to click back to my background layer. Let's put a nice little um, background behind him. We'll go for a simple gradient again, and dunk. 
there we are. There is a simple icon that's going to work nicely. Um, and again, look, if I put him at the, the kind of the size it's going to be on the channel or the size it's going to be the video or even the size it's going to be when I'm kind of just chatting to people, this icon works in all situations. So that's how you um, make one. And then, of course, you just save it as a, um, a PNG or a BMP. And once that's done, you can then just upload that back to your YouTube channel and you have got yourself a lovely little icon. Um, for you to enjoy. Any questions, stick them in the comments section below, um, but I hope you found this mini tutorial helpful. Please give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.